Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a big Lenovo laptop. I think it's a 17 inch screen. This one is an IdeaPad 330-17 IKB model. And in this video I'm gonna take you uh, through the step-by-step -step on how you can upgrade the RAM and or replace your RAM for these models. All right, and before we get started, you will need few tools. Tool number one is gonna be a screwdriver set, which I will recommend you guys to grab the iFixit tool set. I'll leave the link in the description because this tool set, they have all the variety of the bits that you need to open any type of laptop, cell phones, and the bits are S2 uh, steel. They're really toughened. They don't go bad. From this set, we're going to be using Philips number zero. Also, very, the next major tool is a guitar pick or an opening tool. I use the metallic guitar pick, which is really tough and soft edges. So it's really hard to scratch the case with this one. So let's get into it and let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power off completely the laptop. Make sure it's powered off. Don't put on a standby or anything like that. And right at the bottom cover on bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screw holes and the screws right here. So what you wanna do, you wanna start from one corner and remove all the screws at the bottom cover. Remember, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, I just wanna take a moment to thank all of you guys that subscribe to my channel. I only see a very, very little percentage of the viewers subscribe. It would be a really nice help and support if you guys could click that thumbs up button and subscribe. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos and make requests and answer your questions. Obviously, if you find my videos helpful. Alright, now that we removed all the screws at the bottom cover, first we want to remove the optic drive or DVD drive just by pulling it to the side and the whole tray will come out. All right, next you want to grab your guitar pick and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right here where the color changes. So you stick it right there and you just want to twist it just like that. Go all around. You don't want to stick the whole thing. You just stick about two or three millimeters and do the side. Go by where the DVD ROM is. Uh, I forgot on a screw right over here. All right, go all the way to the back corner and do the left and the right side. Once you got the cover up a little bit, it's loosened up. What you need to do, you need to put your finger right at the, by the hinges, right here. Hold it down and from here you want to lift it up. Be gentle and just lift this corner up. And where the USB ports and the charge port is on this side, you want to push the cover while you're lifting up towards that side. So work it around and push it towards this side. So you can get loose, get these ones off. If you try to pull this side up, you're just going to break the case. All right, that's the bottom case right here. And down here, we see the RAM right on the left side right here. Again, it's not really important to remove the battery to upgrade the RAM or anything like that. You do not need to do that. But if you want to be paranoid and remove the battery, it's really easy. Just you have to pull this cable backward. If you don't have enough room to pull it backward, just remove the battery by removing one, two, three screws, which is right here. One screw. Two. Three screws. Once you remove the three screws, you can fill up, lift up the battery and then pull it backward and then the contact will come out. Okay, you can lift the battery to one side. Now, to remove the RAM, there's two triggers beside the RAM. You have to pull these triggers apart. If you pull these triggers apart, the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And then you want to 
pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. And to put it in, this one is a DDR4 RAM, it's a 2400 megahertz. This is a 16 gigabyte stick. So if you wanna, you can grab a 32 stick if there is any out there still. So there is an onboard chip that is not soldered, so there's only one RAM dim, so you can only upgrade one RAM dim. Grab the new RAM, just place, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the dim. Bring it down in 45 degree angle, push it all the way to the jack, and push it towards the motherboard, and you should hear these two triggers. All right, and that's how you upgrade the RAM. And the last step would be, to grab the battery, bring the contact, make sure the contact goes right in there and then pinch it. You just want to pinch the black one with the chrome case right there so it goes all the way in. Align it, place it on the top and put the three screws for the battery. All right, once you have the three screws for the battery and this one is the BIOS battery. If your date and time is not holding, you might want to change this battery right here. And the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover, place the I.O. side down first, make sure you just bring it over so you can just snuggle it back in nicely. And you just want to push the corners, the front, and make sure you hit those clicks, go all the way around. Under the DVD ROM, make sure you pop those in. You should hear nice clicks. If you see any opening, just pinch them with the bottom and the top cover, just grab it and pinch it. And that will be all. And the last thing is to putting the back down the bottom screws. And that will be all for this video. And I really hope that you find this video useful and it helped you guys out. And if it did, please click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing. And I'm just going to finish up putting these screws. And thank you for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Before you put this screw right here, put the DVD ROM, just slide it back in, and then put this screw at the back. Otherwise, you won't be able to put the DVD ROM in. All right, and that's how you finish.